If you are having trouble setting up your Wisecam, you are in the right place. We're going to run through the setup process in detail and talk about the most common issues we see while setting up Wisecam. So grab your Wisecam, grab your smartphone, and make sure you have your Wi-Fi password. And just to make sure we're getting a fresh start, please close your Wise app and unplug your Wisecam. And also reset your router by holding reset or unplug it and plug it back in. Make sure you've removed the plastic film from the front of the Wisecam. Let's start by talking about different types of Wi-Fi networks. Wisecam only works on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. The good news is everybody with a Wi-Fi connection has a 2.4 gigahertz network. However, some newer Wi-Fi routers have a second 5 gigahertz network. And you'll need to make sure you're not trying to set up Wisecam with that second 5 gigahertz network. So on your smartphone, go to your settings and click on Wi-Fi. If you have two or more networks in your home, check to see if one of them says 5 or 5G or 5 gigahertz in the name of the network. And if you do, don't use this network during setup. You have to use a 2.4 gigahertz network. If you have two networks and it's unclear which is 5 gigahertz and which one is 2.4 gigahertz, you can try setting up Wisecam using both networks and see which one works. So now let's open the Wise app and log into your account. If you created an account online when you purchased your camera, you can use that same account email and password to log in. If you don't remember your account password, click Forgot Password and then walk through the steps um, to get a new password. If you haven't created an account yet, go back um, to the home page and at the very bottom hit Sign Up and then enter an email and a password and then follow the steps to set up a WISE account. So once you've got your WISE account and you've got your password, go ahead and log in. And click the plus sign in the middle of the screen to add a camera. And then let's plug in your WISE cam. Once you've plugged in the WISE cam, watch the status lights on the back of the camera. You should see a solid yellow light that starts flashing after about 20 seconds. If you've already attempted to set up, instead of a flashing yellow light, you might see a light that flashes between blue and yellow, and that's totally fine. So once you see that flashing light, press and hold the setup button on the bottom of the camera for two to three seconds until you hear it say, ready to connect. Ready to connect. You go back to your Wise app and click the button that says, I heard, ready to connect. The Wise app will automatically select the Wi-Fi network that your smartphone is using. So if this is a 5 gigahertz network, tap the network name and then enter a new network name that's a 2.4 gigahertz network. Then make sure you enter the password associated with your own Wi-Fi network, not your WISE account password. So tap the peak icon and make sure that that Wi-Fi password is entered correctly. And once you have that, click Next. Now you'll see a QR code on your smartphone screen that you'll need to scan with the WISE cam. Hold your wise cam about five inches away. QR code scanned. Please wait. Once it scans, you'll hear it say QR code scanned. Please wait. If it doesn't scan right away, you can slowly change the distance between the QR code and the camera and vary that distance. You might have to turn the phone a little bit. Sometimes the phone gets reflections, and those reflections will block uh, the wise cam from scanning that QR code. If you're using an iPad or a tablet, Make sure you hold the camera and the wise cam a little bit farther apart because the camera needs more room to read the bigger QR code. If you still can't get the wise cam to scan the QR code, please write an email to support at wisecam.com and we'll deep dive your specific issue with you. Once you hear the wise cam say QR code scan, please wait. Tap this button right here on the wise app. You'll see a connecting screen and the camera should connect. If the connection fails, take a look at the status light on the back of the camera. If it's flashing blue, just hang on for a few minutes. It should eventually turn to a solid blue, which means it's connected successfully. If it's flashing blue and yellow, the Wise Cam is having trouble connecting to the Wi-Fi network. So the first thing to do is just to check to make sure you've entered your Wi-Fi password correctly. To double check that you've entered the password correctly, um, go into your settings on your Wi-Fi and have your phone forget your Wi-Fi network. Then you can select your Wi-Fi network again and re-entered your password just to double check and make sure that that Wi-Fi password is correct. Once we've confirmed that the Wi-Fi password is correct, we can move on and look at the next issue. So next, if you have advanced security features on your Wi-Fi network like Mac filtering, uh, we're going to ask you to temporarily turn that off and try setting up the Wisecam again. 
If it works with Mac filtering turned off, then you can look up the Mac address on the WiseCam and add it to the Mac address whitelist and then turn back on your Mac filtering. After that, make sure your Wi-Fi router is using a WPA or WPA2 security protocol. The WiseCam only works with WPA or WPA2 security protocols. It doesn't work with WEP or WEP security protocols because they are less secure. So here's how you can make sure you have a WPA or WPA2 security protocol. On an Android device, go to Settings in your menu and select Wi-Fi. Uh, choose the network you're connected to and select View, and you'll find your security encryption type under Security. Make sure it says WPA or WPA2. It's unfortunately not possible to check this on an iPhone. If you have a Mac computer, go to System Preferences and select Network. Make sure your Wi-Fi is selected, and then click the Advanced option at the bottom. On the right, you'll find your security encryption type listed as Security under the Wi-Fi tab. And then lastly, on a PC, click on the wireless indicator at the bottom right corner of the screen. Select the network you're connected to, and you'll see displayed the security encryption type under security type. Again, WiseCam only works with a WPA connection. If you have any custom firewall settings, try lowering your firewall settings and try the setup process again. Next, you can check and see if your router is using a specific channel for your Wi-Fi network, or if your router is auto-detecting. If your router is set to use a specific channel, try changing the setting to let your router auto-detect, and then try the setup process again. We want to make sure your WiseCam is everything we promised it would be. If you've tried all these steps um, and you're still having issues setting up your camera, please send an email to support at wisecam.com and include as much detail as possible about what step isn't working for you. Um, please also tell us the color of the indicator light on the back of the WiseCam. Um, this will help us understand what step of the process that you're stuck on. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time.